Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Bruin Build. Today we are back and uh, we're going to be doing some interior design on the keep, which we finished the exterior of last episode. Last episode we did the exterior and um, we did it mainly in time lapse, actually all in time lapse. And I got to say, I really do love how it turned out. I think it is very, very cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to get jumping in on to the interior. So real quick, we're going to take a look-see at the uh, exterior here just to get a good glimpse of it. And uh, I went with more of the detailed look like we have down here on the temple, primarily the sides of the temple. And I think it turned out really nice. Uh, went with orange and blue. I don't really know why, but I think those colors fit the area very well. Um, and I think it's, it's pretty neat. We're in shaders currently because I want to show you what the interior looks like. I, uh, I, I still need to put flowers there. Um, but the interior looks very cool. Also, I love this doorway. This is very just odd, but it's just a mixture of, I believe that's dark spruce and dark and spruce logs and then stripped spruce or no spruce, stripped spruce, stripped uh, dark and then trap doors. And I think that makes for a very interesting thing. This also, I saw this, I got this idea from uh, uh, Mythical Sausage. He likes to put these uh, on his doorways to make them more interesting. And uh, I think it looks very good. So interior wise, this place looks pretty cool. Um, I've got our map here. I just decided to put that up right here. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's our bed. Um, but yeah, I really just think this looks pretty cool. So I've done some interior work here to make it look uh, a little bit more laid out uh, for us this episode to be able to do it. Um, I think the stairway and stuff, I am not going to probably do the bedroom, honestly, on camera. Just because I have to figure out the tower and how we're going to get up there. And it's really not... I don't know. It's not really a tower that I think is like accessible uh, too much. We hopefully I'll put a, a like a, a bedroom up there all the way up in the cone roof portion. But yeah, I'm not really sure. I'll have to play that one by ear. But let me turn shaders off so I can talk to you real quick about this area. All right. So what I have uh, done is I've laid some stuff out and cleared some of the walls and moved some things around to make this area a little bit more, um, I guess, to expedite the process that we're going to go through to build this place up. Um, so what are we going to do? So this is going to be the throne room, this starting area. This will be the throne room. And so essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to put chairs right here or a chair or two chairs. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to put a singular chair like right here. Um, and let's actually mark this out so we don't forget. I'm going to put like a singular chair right here and we're going to come in and this is going to be like the receiving area that the king, uh, would be able to talk to his, um, people, his peeps. Um, and then up here, there's going to be a stairway that leads to this balcony. Um, it's going to be a bit more of an interesting, like different type of, uh, keep nothing really like no big throne room or anything like that it's a small keep so it's not going to be anything special um, but this is going out to the balcony here and uh, we're not we're not going to put anything out here we might put chairs but I don't really think it fits anyways so probably not anything there uh, eventually I think I will put stairs like make the staircase that goes all the way up I'm not sure though because this is kind of odd um, and so I don't really know how that'll work. Um, I'll try and figure something out, but for now, we're not going to worry about that. So we're going to make the throne room today. And then this area is going to be kind of like a break room, if you will, uh, sort of a break room for the king to be able to, it's going to be walled off and it's going to be for the king to be able to kind of get away from the, uh, just kind of his duties at the time. If he's uh, wanting a break or something, he can come back here, get refreshments or do something lounge. I'm not sure. Uh, we may, maybe we'll make like a fireplace or something right here. I don't know. This is actually the inside of the balcony. So probably not, <laughs> probably won't do that. 
Um, but yeah, so that's what the plan for here and, uh, the balcony and stuff will have something going on. Um, but then I made a stairway here, um, and we're going to have this be a stairway down to this area. And so this is the next floor. Um, and I've gone ahead and laid this out so we can just jump right on into things. So this is going to be a freezer. I want this to be a big old freezer. We're going to go find some ice. I think there's a ice sort of ocean biome uh, somewhere nearby. Um, and we're going to make this a freezer. And then over here is going to be kind of a storage, maybe a storage closet or something. So this is actually going to be like a wall right here. Um, and this, so this will be a storage unit area. And I kept this as sort of a ceiling um, holder upper thingamajig. Uh, pillar, that's what they're called. Um, and this area will also be storage, more like shelving. Um, and then this area here and uh, probably just here will be more of the kitchen side of things. Potentially, we may even block this off and make it l more of a like a just a wall here. Not really sure. But this leads out to this balcony here. So you can still have access here. Uh, we probably won't do anything here on the balconies. I don't really think there would be any need for anything, um, but that's okay. And then going further down, so this is gonna be a wall. I've decided to, this area is too hard to work with, I think. So I think what I'm going to do, I may change my mind, I'm not sure, but I'm going to potentially wall this off where this is here, just wall it off so it's just a walkway down. Um, or if anything, we could extend the floor out over here and make this something, but I, I think I'm pretty set on just walling it off. So you'll come down here, there'll be a stairway here, and the idea that I'm going to go for is this is going to be kind of a barracks, a uh, small barracks of sorts. This will be kind of just a balcony area you can go to. Um, but this will be like a barracks area for any guards that are within the keep, um, and this can be a sort of lookout here down the stairwell um, because down here, I don't have a door for one. I think a zombie spawned and killed it. But down here is the King's Plateau. Um, so he'll want to have guards and stuff here. Uh, I never did detail this because I wasn't sure what we were going to have going on. Now that I know that this could potentially be... Uh, windows, we could put windows in, or we could just do decoration. I may just do decoration in terms of like some stairs and walls and things similar to this. Uh, I think we may lean towards that. But I wanted to have this be a stairway down into a dungeon. Um, and this shouldn't be too hard to do, um, mainly because this is hollow. So it shouldn't be horrible to do uh, if we can build into that. Uh, I'll try and do that, but that is probably going to be off camera. So I'm probably going to do the dungeon off camera, and I'm going to also uh, be just whatever I don't get to will be done off camera either during this episode or in between episodes, uh, this episode and next, because I want to wrap this place up and uh, I kind of want to get out of this keep uh, for one. So let me gather up materials, get out what I want. Um, and then we can get started for today's episode. All right, so we're going to get on in into this. Um, I think I'm going to try and recreate something. Well, no, I probably won't do anything crazy like that. Probably just go with the standard just oak door. Um, and I'm probably going to do this here just so that we can keep it very, very simple and make it so it's not hard to get to um, and so we'll probably just do something like this for the doorway and I don't I just don't want it to be too let's see hold on one two three four five six seven one two three four this is the center so let's make sure this is centered um actually it was centered because of that Yes, that is actually what we're going to do. I've uh, brought this wall out just a bit so that we could have... I'm just going to probably stop that there and make this go all the way up and have this wall kind of build its way up. Um, as a matter of fact, let's do that now just so we can get that out of the way. 
Um, a lot of this is going to be um, probably off camera, just kind of building it up because it is a little, oh, it, you know, grindy, annoying work. Um, let's do this like that. Uh, let's do this there. And then we can do something like this, maybe a stair here and have this come up similar, kind of like this. Uh, and then we can do keep this uh, coming up here and just have it kind of come up to that height. And then we can have that kind of build up there. And I think that is good enough for what we want. Um, and let's right like that. Very good. And then we can work with this area here and bring that all the way up. Actually, we should have stayed up there because we're going to do this. And there, 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 there. Boom. Okay, so now we have those pillars taken care of. And I'll figure out something here. Probably just do something like this, or I'm not really sure exactly what, but we'll figure that out for now. This is good, actually. Let's just let's let, let's just do this right now. And we're out. Good. Uh, we have plenty of stone left for this project. I well, fingers crossed. We have plenty of stone left. Um, but I think we're good in that department right now because we got this amount and I don't think we should use that much. Actually, there's stone right there. Cool. So what are we going to do for this? So this, I think I'm going to shove this over one. Uh, this is a supporting beam that kind of needs to be there because it's where the support of this roof is. Um, but yeah, it's kind of in the way as well. So who knows if I'll actually keep this? I don't know. Um, it kind of needs to be there to make sense, but also doesn't have to be there. Ceiling wise, uh, I'm not going to worry too much about it looking good uh, just because it's kind of difficult <laughs> to do a ceiling um, for this area. Uh, I'll probably just go back through and in there and there. Probably just go back through and do some oak and just kind of connect this stuff up and cover up the stone. Um, that's probably all the amount of depth I'm going to go into there. Um, just because ceilings, while they, they, they are good and I think you should do them, uh, also can be very tedious and annoying to do. So now that that's all taken care of and this doesn't line up with the, the chair, let's do this right. Okay, so what I would like to do, actually, thinking of this now, Maybe what we do is we put the door here. So we have the door there, right like that. And then we can move the chair to be more like, let's, I was thinking maybe we could put a terracotta here. Let's see, that's there. That would be like that. And let's just do that for showcase purposes. One, two, three, four, see. Ooh, that's, that's a problem. Uh, let's make this a double door. <laughs> That'll solve the problem. Um, what I wanted to do is basically center, like have the chair centered somehow. Um, there we go. I think that's fine. We can have the chair centered here. Um, gosh, I don't even know. Let me think of this real quick just so I can move on from this because my brain's not moving past it. All right, figured that out. This actually, this ended up being even, and that was actually what was throwing me off. Do we need to sleep? No. Okay. Um, so we're going to try some different things for this uh, throne room, and I'm not particularly good at these. Uh, I was going to do a stone chair, but I'm thinking actually that a dark oak stair makes a bit more. Actually, we don't have much in the ways of dark oak. Oi, that is... Uh, bad <laughs> because dark oak is pretty luxurious um, and that's not really good so I guess we'll do this and oh I haven't actually put in the uh, actually you know what yeah I was gonna say we have plenty of slabs didn't need that um, that's okay okay so I'm thinking that we'll do something along the lines of a big tall chair uh, not really sure how. I think what we should do is do like a cushion there. Uh, maybe we can grab a slab that is 
a little bit different in the ways of color. We could do something that's different. Um, maybe we'll do oak. We don't usually use oak, but it might be a good accent for this. So we could do that, have this here, that here, and let's see here. Maybe what we do is do a this and a stair. No, maybe we do this. How's that look? Doesn't look too bad, but it also kind of sticks out and it's weird. All right, well, you know, this is very simplistic and may not be the most amazing thing ever done, um, but it is interesting, I will say. I do think that this is a more interesting, this is very, very, very simple, um, but I think what could, we could use to spruce this place up is, this is going to have to move, sadly, and we are out of inventory space. Let me get this suit it is sorted out. All right, so I've done some work and uh, kind of just kind of got lost in thought as to what in the world I was trying to explain. So don't act actually have any like building footage of this because it was kind of all just pointless rambling and really didn't have make any sense. Um, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get a video out tomorrow, so I'm not going to rush myself or anything like that. I'm just going to record when I can um, and hopefully get a video out to you tomorrow. Uh, or Saturday at least. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to actually like try and ramble my way through an episode that makes for an uninteresting episode. Um, so done some work here, as you can see, uh, kind of finished this area here, this front area, and I think it's really cool. So I was trying to do like a carpet or something, um, but it didn't look good. Um, the colors are too vibrant in the wools, um, so I may play with desaturating those. Uh, in the future, but it went with more of a stone walkway with an andesite leading, like middle portion leading to the chair. Uh, have a just very simple sort of throne here. Um, nothing really that crazy. Big old bookcase uh, here, a painting just randomly up there, uh, and a bookshelf. And I thought this was interesting because, oh, I need to grab some flowers to put up there. Uh, but can't do that right now. But we'll put flowers here, mainly putting poppies, ferns, and uh, azure bluets, just because they're my favorite flowers. Uh, and I've uh, been doing this for support as well, just kind of an internal support sort of thing to support, help all this stone. Did a little work with the roof. Need to put some wooden stairs here. Other than that, I think it's good. Um, really not anything here to talk about. Um, added this stairway here. Uh, and I think it's uh, pretty good. Uh, just a nice curved stair to a sort of seating area. Um, this I may turn into something like this. I'm not really sure. Um, and then just a walkway to the balcony. Very simple, very simplistic and easy to do. Um, so yeah, and our, our bed is here. <laughs> uh, but I think overall, I like what this place looks like. It looks very cool. And uh, I'm going to be adding stuff in between uh, in between episodes, but uh, cutscenes and stuff. So just be prepared for that. This area here, I wanted to add really just what we've done already. Um, just add that real quick. I've got I went and got some ice, um, and uh, we'll take a look at that in just a second. But I want to do this real quick. So uh, let's grab some logs because we're gonna need it. Uh, this. Grab some logs, and uh, basically all I want to do is put some there, and then just do some stairs here, and then maybe grab some stone bricks. I think that'll be good. Um, and that, yeah, this will be, I think, good. Have a sort of a wall here to, well, maybe we'll do that here. That might fit better here, and then we can grab some stone and do that there. Yeah, I think that'll be better, and I'll replace this with stone. Uh, put that back there. That can be a nice little, or in fact, what we could do is do this. Didn't mean to break all those, but whatever. 
do a three wide and then there. We can do something like that and then have some chairs here. This is really just a loungy area, not really anything in particular, uh, nothing fancy or anything like that. Um, maybe what we could do, um, uh, because I went a little above and beyond and made a lot of bookshelves. Uh, but what we could do is make this sort of a bookshelf area. Um, and then just to spice it up, add a little bit of interest, have some books right here. And uh, let's see, maybe a table sort of thing here. And then perhaps a table here as well. Uh, that is to the outside world. Yes, that is to the outside world. Okay. Um, yeah, honestly, like this back area is not, it's really just going to be the floor that adds interest. Uh, probably put a painting here, but it's not anything too crazy. Nothing to write home about at all. Uh, in fact, what we could do to make it just a, a little more interesting is add uh, not stone there. Uh, add some slabs. That seems to help quite a bit. Actually, we're going to want, oh my gosh, the stair. Uh, probably want to add some spruce slabs. If we're going to add anything, it'll blend in with this. And what I'm thinking is we'll do this around the border area here. Uh, and that'll add just a little bit of interest and keep the ceiling not being totally flat let's just chop all of and that doesn't need to be there that can be stone and then just add some slabs here and uh that can be whatever um we can do that like that and then oh uh, might as well do that there um, then we can have just a little bit of interest in the ceiling, um, nothing crazy, but it does add just uh, just another level of depth um, to make it so it's not just some weird looking thing. That is good. So I will put probably a rug or carpet or something down here, and then um, yeah, that honestly will probably do it for this area here. We're going to jump on into um, putting the floor, doing a floor design real quick um, on camera here with the inter the air, what the, the, the kitchen area. I uh, went with bricks here as well, uh, but nothing really that crazy. Um, we're going to do just real quick the freezer, and then I might may or may not cut we're actually gonna need all of that army that's sad um where oh, i think i i don't know where my crafting bench is i moved it or i think i picked it up and then i set it down someplace yeah i ain't got a clue where it is let's just make another it's not that hard all right so we are going to be going and we're going to make the freezer and also the floor here and i thought this could be really interesting so what i want to do with the freezer is well one grab more <laughs> grab more stone for one because we need more stone this place uses a lot of stone and this is not i'm not going for like the most detailed um area ever uh not really going for that um but what i want to do here is add let's make this all stone brick and it'll make the that area down there interesting uh with in terms of the roof but or the ceiling but you know that's okay uh we can always do what we did in that little break room and make it some slab action instead um, but i think that is good right like that block this off and grab some of this so we don't have any mobs spawning in here very good and what I want to do is just, I saw Jeremy do this, and I thought um, this could be interesting. Just I'm just going to pile up uh, some ice and things, and uh, kind of just put some stuff here. Uh, that won't work. What is this? Yes, that will work. So we'll do that. Some barrels and different ice products, uh, just to showcase that this is rather frigid and we are going to lose some value in the um, ice uh, we'll put some on the floor here and then let's put some of this clearer ice here um, how about right 
there and how about right here uh, and there and then what we can do is add just a few snow blocks we'll put one here and one here and then maybe right here and then that kind of makes that obsolete I forgot you can't have this be lit up <laughs> that's okay um, and then we're gonna take some snow layers and really just pile this up and make it look kind of like uh, it's actually we're gonna probably have to do that aren't we we're gonna have to put um, some snow block here and pile it up and then put some maybe what yeah we'll just keep that there uh, and we can do some like that and do a little bit of this action right here uh, and that makes it just look like a free frozen frigid area and i think that is pretty good and we won't have any light in here uh that's quite all right we'll put some maybe a barrel <laughs> there and there and here so then it looks like it's nice and to not toasty opposite of toasty frigid very frigid um and then uh, let's grab some more stone brick actually let's sleep and let's put some stone bricks right along here just to give the ceiling a little bit of interest so that it doesn't look like it's just really boring and good there we go and now what we're gonna do is add the doors to this and we're gonna need a button of sorts so we can do a button uh, we're gonna need two buttons we're going to do a door here and a door here, and then we can have the buttons be... Can we do them up above? No. Tis quite all right. Uh, I don't understand redstone half the time, so we can do a button here to let us out. And that actually is placed wrong. That's weird. I hate... It's, it has to do with how you um, actually, like, are standing and placing, so I think I have to, like, look like this that is terrifying why did he 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 just spawned what in the world that that was like houdini like oh uh, there i am oh my gosh that was terrifying well, okay, we'll do light like that, I guess. Um, we're going to have to deal with this roof here, but ceiling area, but whatever. Uh, I think I am just going to block this off. I think it looks, it'll be just easier to work with. It'll be basically less, less to have to deal with. Um, and I am all about, right right now, I am all, all for reducing the amount of work I have to do so I can get you guys a video. And also, I don't think it's going to add anything if we really do anything else. All right, so now that we got the freezer worked out, let's do something with the floor. And I wanted to try this combination. I've seen it before. Uh, so it's going to be like this. And it's basically just a grid pattern of... Uh, I've seen multiple different white blocks used before. Um, but I wanted to try diorite since we don't ever use diorite. And the smooth diorite is actually a really nice block. And that's dead. Um, that's just going to be dangerous, but to do, like, have, let's just let me out, there we go. <laughs> um, but I really love what the new smooth diorite is actually like. It's actually a really, really nice block. Like, this is a really good block now, and I'm actually quite happy with what Mojang is, like, how they've taken this block in terms of the direction. Ooh, it's very nice. Um, so I'm going to continue this grid, and we're going to make the kitchen. Uh, and then that may do it for the episode. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, guys. So I have uh, been doing quite a bit of work. We're going to take a look-see at all this in just a sec. But I I finished the keep, essentially. Um, really haven't had time to work on stuff. Um, 
well, I mean, that's a lot. I've had time to work on stuff, haven't had time to record stuff. Uh, last week, I missed getting a video out to you on Friday. Sorry about that. I'm going to try and get this video out to you um, by Wednesday, I think. Tuesday or Wednesday, depends on when I have time to edit. Um, and so hopefully you'll have two videos next week. That is kind of the goal um, to make up for it. Um, but yeah, so we are are done with the keep. So last time, last clip, last I remember, we were working on getting the grid pattern, and we've done this, and I've actually added some more stuff like to the walls as well. I went for this odd, I don't know why I wanted to do this, but I put stripped logs into the wall, and for some reason I think it really works. I It just adds in interest i'm not sure um did the ceiling it's all it's slabs and trap doors and uh we've really just really done a lot of stuff i'm putting this flower in and we'll put one actual flower um and we do have just a touch more to do here because we have just a little bit of storage right here and so just to figure we could put some like little crates and maybe a let's see what type of barrel regular barrel that's fine uh what type of barrel would go here just a regular barrel and ah that'll work that'll fit perfectly so we'll do that uh and then maybe do this and this and that that yeah, sure why not um that is wasting actually one but i don't really care um and yeah, just wanted to do some work and get this place done because my mind's really not here um, in terms of Sarthal. I've been playing a lot in a creative world, so I've uh, been playing a lot in creative test uh, our testing world to build out the next uh, idea, and I think we are going to go with Brassington, so this next episode um or the next episode after that i can't decide if i want to do a world tour next episode or if i want to do a sort of look at t new textures and a um you know build out whatever oh i just realized these two don't match we should match this to this i like this color more so yes we're gonna go over the entire keep it now and just take a look at what i have done but just one second my dog wants outside all right dog is outside if you hear random barking that means he wants back in so this is the kitchen and i'm very pleased with how it is uh, we built this it there we go we built the freezer and i think it looked looks pretty dang good i'm really happy with how it turned out and um yeah, I'm just really happy with how this is. Now, I know the kitchen doesn't have any furnaces. I may put furnaces right here in this wall. Actually, let's just, uh, do we have any cobblestone? Let's just grab some cobblestone real quick and put two to three furnaces. Um, well, three maximum because we only have 29. Yeah, we'll put one here and here. I think that'll be good. Um, all right, if you couldn't tell, my dog interrupted me. So the furnaces are in. People can now cook. I think this is good. This is complete. Uh, and this is just storage right here. So if we go down here, um, this is not necessarily complete. Um, but I, I mainly just probably will put some planters or something right here. I'm not really sure. Or a table or something. I'm not sure. But this is the bunkhouse area for all of the palace guards. Palace, castle, keep, guards, whatever. Um, and very simple. Just did orange and blue beds to represent the colors of the glass. And it's just kind of a bunkhouse. Very simple. Um, trap doors and stuff for the ceiling since, uh, we've got a whole bunch of craziness going on. If I can find it, uh, there it is. We've got like this ceiling going on. Um, so just covered it with trap doors. Think that looks good. Little balcony area you can walk on. Um, nothing crazy. And then down here didn't do too much. Added planters, uh, textured the walls a little bit, made the ceiling continuous all the way through little table thing that does nothing but then i added a jail here this used to be just all stone and i added a jail and we even have a little zombie oh he's missing his leg because i don't i have custom entities on from being on the vastin server um but i haven't been on recently um and he uh, actually was down below here this is all hollow down here and he was down below and i kind of dug down and he grabbed the block and then I made him follow up 
here and now this is our jail and i think it looks pretty cool so this is like in skyrim you have a chest uh that where all your stuff goes so this is this is uh that chest um that all his stuff is in currently he has nothing but that's okay so we have a little jail and i think that's fun this place is a pretty peaceful area so you don't really need too much in the ways of a prison so that is the reason for that and then finally we have just one last i need to clear this and put something here but other than that we have one last thing to do well i guess i should show you this uh eh, hold on so i built a staircase that goes all the way up because we need a bed up there but i uh, changed out put a pole move this out one put a pole all the way down so it go it runs all the way to the top and put those supporting structure beams there and i think it looks really really cool um and just really did some finagling of the space because it's a little crazy uh to get up there a little weird so i didn't want to change this area i really loved what this was like so i uh instead busted into the, this wall over here so we come in here I replaced the floor, made it all kind of carpeted and nice looking since this is where the king is going to be uh, chilling. And there we go, make it all purdy. King would just like chill here and this is like his, his chilling room. But then there's this right here. This is the only way to get up there technically. Um, and so you come here and suddenly you're in this wall and then you are right above this staircase. And I made this singular staircase here and uh, you can come up here and i don't know what it is it's just a really cool interior feel right here uh like this beam structure here is just really nice i don't know why um and then really just played with putting a bunch of different wood types and and uh, i need to get some more of the oh we have more ha huh. nice there we go now that's complete um i didn't actually know i had those um and so did that and i think this looks very good and then we've got this big staircase and there are no guardrails but i mean you know if you fall down it's kind of your own fault and this is where the king would live now we're gonna say the king is single no a queen uh because ain't no way queen and king gonna sleep in this twin size um but i have also added little balconies on all these little areas here um and i think this is is very nice i really like it and it's also nice because i can just jump out um with my elytra and it's pretty nice but that is the interior done and dusted oh the ceiling is pretty interesting as well so that's the interior done and dusted and i am very pleased with this interior um, honestly, interiors are really hard to do on camera, and so I always struggle to do them uh, in a time-effective manner. Oh, I need to put some uh, railings here. Oh, we have some. Cool. Um, I always struggle to do them effectively. Uh, uh, sometimes they just things don't go the way that I want them to, and you know, that's okay. Life doesn't always go the way you want it to um we'll do that that and uh uh how are we gonna do this we're gonna have to go here 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 oh no can't face sideways um but yeah interiors are always difficult if i could do creative interiors then i would do that that would be great yeah there we go that's fine a little railing there um but yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry it was weird. Sorry I didn't get a video to you yesterday or not yesterday, Friday. Um, oh, there's not a bed here. Darn it. Got to go all the way up because you can't sleep in bunked beds like we've got in the bunkhouse because uh, you kill yourself because you suffocate. Or at least I did. I suffocated. <laughs> um, and uh, or well, started suffocating until I broke the bed. Um, and so i think that's going to do it for this episode guys again really sorry about friday not being able to get a video out to you just got busy and unable to record um and uh we'll try and get it get two videos out to you this week hopefully uh, because these next couple are not going to be terribly difficult um and i really want to show you the concept i've got for brassington i think you're going to really really like it um but yeah that's going to do it for this episode guys Blech. i keep getting interrupted by family members 
If you like the video, leave a like in real life. And if you are new here and you enjoy everything you see, um, then feel free to subscribe. Join the little family we've got going here, and I will see you guys in the next episode.